Tesla recently revealed its 2022 first quarter earnings and both the top and bottom lines beat expert projections. Given that Tesla CEO Elon Musk forecasted significant stock returns in 2022, this should not be shocking. Uh, notwithstanding skeptics' opinions, Tesla prevailed in the first fiscal quarter of current year. How did Tesla come up with these figures? How did Elon Musk arrive at his predictions? How does Tesla expect the remainder of 2022 to play out? To find out, keep watching. The closest estimate of sales provided by the company for the three months ending on March 31, 2022, was 310,048 vehicles delivered by Tesla for the first quarter earlier this month. 95 of deliveries, or 295,324, were made by cars from the Model 3 and Model Y models. Tesla's operating margin rose to 19 in the first quarter, putting the company on par with supercar makers, despite selling sedans and SUVs. In the most recent earnings conference call, the business revealed its fiscal quarter data. Tesla's revenue of $18.76 billion above the projection of $17.08 billion, and its earnings per share increased to $3.22 from $2.25. Because of this, shares increased by as much as six during after hours trading to $16.86 billion. Tesla's automotive revenue rose 87 in the past year with a $5.54 billion gross profit in its main business. Tesla has increased the automotive gross margin to 32.9. Webbish analyst Dan Ives and John Casingris said that these numbers exceeded market expectations. Stock with their backs to the wall, Musk and company performed noticeably better than anticipated and emerged victorious. This should come as no surprise to ardent viewers of our channel, since we have foretold this outcome in other podcasts. Following the company's results announcement, Ives and Casingris wrote out a note stating, we believe these Cinderella-like delivery numbers in a brutal supply chain backdrop speak to an electric vehicle demand trajectory that looks quite robust for Tesla heading into the rest of 2022. But they issued a warning that production and supply chain problems still exist, especially in China, what they referred to as the elephant in the room. Musk said that record earnings were achieved despite numerous semiconductor shortages, numerous logistical problems, and an all-around difficult quarter. According to him, the corporation is still confident about the expansion in car production in 2022 compared to 2021. Musk believes there's a high probability Tesla will rise by 60 over the previous year. In actuality, Tesla has had an excellent quarter despite the issues as encountered this year. Earlier this month, Tesla announced that it produced over 305,000 cars and delivered over 310,000 during the first quarter of the year. This means that year over year, delivery has increased by 68. How, in spite of all the odds, was Tesla able to accomplish these outcomes? In Tesla's presentation to shareholders, the company stated that rising average sales pricing and a rise in the number of cars delivered drove revenue growth. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and Zachary Kirkhorn, the CFO stated on the company's earnings call that they are certain the business can expand by at least 50 by 2021. However, the executives claim that the company has lost about a month's worth of construction volume in Shanghai as a result of COVID-related shutdowns. The first quarter saw strong weekly production rates at Tesla's Shanghai facility. Nevertheless, a spike in COVID-19 cases necessitated a temporary shutdown of the factory and portions of Tesla's supply chain. Tesla admitted that it had lost enough production capacity to last almost a month. The company claims that limited manufacturing has just started up again and that it is keeping a close eye on the situation. Plans to go back to full build. So full build and delivery volume in the second quarter. Musk projected that automobile production in the second quarter would be on par with the first, if not slightly less, despite the ongoing problems. But the CE said that the, the second half of the year would see a considerable increase in production. In response, Kirchhorn stated, we've resumed limited manufacturing and are aiming to return to full production uh, as soon as feasible. Musk thinks it's possible that the company will be able to create 1.5 million cars this year, even with the delay. What future plans does Musk have in mind? During the business's earnings call, Musk stated that he has never been more positive or optimistic about Tesla's future. He also mentioned that the company is still early in its path and is only about five of the way towards its goal. Musk claims that his excitement has nothing to do with upcoming payments and that there are no talks taking place regarding additional compensation for me. He said that $16, nine cents, million dollar of Tesla CEO, Elon Musk's options valued at $15, three cents, billion dollars before taxes vested when the company announced record sales and earnings for the first quarter of 2022. 
This completed Musk's substantial 2018 performance award, given that the last time Musk exercised his options, the stock suffered. The absence of talks should ease the minds of Tesla investors a little. According to Musk, Tesla will have uh, fully autonomous cars by 2022. This is in line with a previous pledge he made, which the company has not yet kept. Musk also acknowledged that it was taking longer than he had anticipated to create the self-driving car technology. He encouraged people to sign up for Tesla's full self-driving beta program, which necessitates strong driver safety scores in the purchaser subscription of Tesla's full self-driving premium driver assistance package. However, Tesla vehicles with full self-driving still lack full autonomy. The cost is $12,000 up front and $199 each month. Musk kept quiet about the company's futuristic robo-taxi project in the beginning of April. Tesla intends to launch a robo-taxi event the following year with a goal of starting mass production in 2024. Musk also emphasized Tesla's advancements with TeslaBot, the humanoid robot that the company is developing to help around the house or carry out simple manufacturing tasks. Musk declared his unwavering belief that the robot will eventually be more valuable than Tesla's car business. Compared to the same period last year, Tesla solar deployments fell by more than half to 48 megawatts in the first quarter of 2022. Lithium ion battery energy storage systems of 846 megawatts were installed by the corporation. This represents a 90 increase from the previous quarter, but a yearly reduction. Tesla attributed the decline in solar deployments to uncontrollable import delays for essential components. Due to shortages of semiconductor chips, components, and inflationary pressures made worse by Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine and the ongoing pandemic. Uh, in the first quarter of 2022, Tesla's global vehicle inventory fell to a three-day supply. In comparison, the first quarter of 2021 saw an eight-day supply of global automobile inventories, while the second quarter of that same year saw a four-day supply. Tesla acknowledged that certain challenges like a notable rise in the cost of its component parts and problems with the supply chain had remained. Our plants have been working below capacity for several quarters as the supply chain became the key limiting factor. The electric vehicle brand said in a statement, this is likely to continue through the remainder of 2022. The statement read, COVID-19, these problems have been made worse by 19 breakouts, chip shortages, and the Ukraine situation, which has forced Tesla to increase pricing in China, uh, the U.S., and other nations, but the company is dealing with issues beyond its supply chain. A company has encountered and will continue to face transportation, labor, and other production-related challenges this year. According to experts, inflation is at its highest point in over 40 years, and before consumer prices level down, they might surge even higher. Musk, however, asserted that he believes inflation is more than previously estimated and that it will persist all year. Musk also discussed how inflation is affecting the cost of Tesla vehicles, saying that suppliers are facing tremendous pressure to raise costs, with some parts requesting price rises of 20 to 30%. A CEO stated that Tesla increased its costs since it looks like inflation will continue for the most part of this year. The company has stated that it will have major challenges for the remainder of the year, but overall the outlook is still positive. Even though Elon Musk, uh, the CEO of Tesla, has had a difficult few months due to ongoing issues with the supply chain. The company exceeded Wall Street's predicted profits and revenue in yet another record quarter. You can't help but share Musk's excitement as he claims he's never been more upbeat or enthusiastic about Tesla's future. Tesla has a history of outperforming estimates and forecasts and consistently seems to come out on top. Right now, Tesla has only one direction to go, and we'd be interested to see how things work out. Did your estimates for Tesla's first quarter earnings match, the actual results, please leave a comment below.